going live facebook i am uh about to make a little drive and i thought it would be good to title this video blowing my top off <laughs> it's been a long time since i blew my top off um really has um but i want to talk to y'all today about this, this this message is really about relationships it really is um and I'm seeing a lot of stuff out here that I, I just want to comment on this morning. And after I make this little turn here, I'll look at you and say what I want to say. But I buy houses, I buy apartments, I lend money on great deals. Um, and I love making new relationships. If you have not reached out to me, if we have not had a conversation, um, Tell me what you've got going on. Let me know if I can help you. Uh, maybe you can help me. Um, I'm always looking for great money partners, always looking for great deals. Um, and I don't mind sharing with you all what, I'm, what I've got going on. I'm in this group called the Wealth and Real Estate Facebook group. Hey, I see you, Andrew Lawyer. Um, but this morning, I, I've, I got something to say. And what I'm seeing out here, no, let me let me start off. Let me start a different way. A lot of what I'm doing right now is levering, leveraging relationships that started five or six years ago. Okay, this week I signed a contract on, you know, a pretty big deal. Um, direct to seller, uh, he's going to finance it for me, five percent for twenty years. Right? I don't have to go to a bank. There's no credit check. Um, it's a pretty nice looking property, 100% occupied. That's just one example. Um, most of my business these days is referrals, like people referring business to me, telling me uh, they see something on Facebook and they say, hey, do you know this person? This person is willing to sell. And that's just been my method. You know, I don't do a whole lot of direct mail, cold calling, nothing like that. Just a lot of letting people know what I do. And I'm seeing a lot of young people, but not just young people. I'm seeing a lot of people in general who think very short term, right? And I've done it before. Like I've been that guy who blew my top on the city inspector and didn't realize that I was going to be working with that city inspector for the next, you know, 50 years, right? Like I've been that guy that, that, damaged a relationship that I really actually needed for my well-being um, because I was too short-sighted. And certainly there are relationships that are just toxic for us. You know, if somebody's not good for you and it just puts you in a bit bad place, you're depressed, you're negative, you're stressed, all that good stuff, those relationships need to, need to go. Um, but for the most part, hey Cruz, good to see you, man. Relationships need to be maintained, okay? And I thought I would really talk about this this morning because there's too many people thinking too short term when it comes to business, when it comes to life, when it comes to relationships. You know, mama used to say, uh, be careful about burning your bridges, right? Because you never know, you never know when you'll have to cross them again. And I see too many people that frankly, like burn bridges, they say the wrong thing, they try to move too fast, they step on somebody's toe that could end up helping them in the long run. Maybe they don't need the help, right? Maybe they don't want the help. But if you're doing this over and over and over, I wanna encourage you to check yourself. This is what blowing my top looks like, okay? I was gonna try to yell and try to get 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 a little get a little loud, but I can't do it. But I'm telling you, it's not worth blowing a relationship. It's not worth like not being able to do business for years to come simply because you got mad about one deal or you got mad about one conversation. You got mad about one interaction. Like you might just want to decide to move on from that interaction. Um, keep that relationship. You never know when something's going to happen and you're going to need that person again. So 
I'm seeing that in how people treat their bankers. I'm seeing that in how people that you, you may want to really think about it before you write somebody completely off or before you do something that completely destroys a relationship. And I'm talking to myself this morning. Be very careful about those relationships that you completely cut. Think long term. Think long term. Don't just look at it. Grab the map.